the supposed heir to the throne of Obieze, cavorting with nobodies. Doesn't this go to show how unworthy you are of the throne? With all due respect, Your Majesty, I was taught that those who look down on others only do so because deep inside they feel worthless and they are trying to bring everybody else down to their level. What? You insolent child! How dare you! I'm not going to let you do that, Your Majesty. Oh, and one more thing. Before you call someone a nobody, remember we all turn to do someday. And what are you standing around for? Your Majesty. Disappear from my sight! Swear to me, you will have to swear to me that you will not divulge the secret of what you just saw to anyone. Swear, swear to me that you will take the secret to your grave. Unless you want your grave to be an early one. Swear. Your Majesty, I, I give you my words. I will do as you've commanded. The great Iroko has fallen. May the gods of our land grant you easy passage to the land of our ancestors. Go well, my friend. Question the ways of the gods. Eh? They do as it pleases them. Just take care. Oh no! Are you now saying it pleases the gods to leave me a widow? Why me? Why me? Am I not too young to be a widow? Look at me. Oh no, am I not too young? Why me? No, no. Look at me! No, 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 no. No, no, please take it easy. Eh? Take care. I pray that the gods will give you the strength to bear this great loss. You need to just calm down. It's okay. It's okay, Lolo. Listen to your song. I must depart now to do that which my Igwe had instructed me. 
Oh no, did I hear you say depart? Please tell us, Oh no, what is this thing of great importance that my husband bade you to do? Well, Your Majesty, His Majesty made me swear to an oath of secrecy. But suffice it to say that I am going to look for something that is of great importance to him because he's lost. Something of great importance. Yes. I see. Is this lost item of great importance than the burial of the eagle? Oh, no. I should think that my father's burial should take precedence over any other plant. On the contrary, my prince, His Majesty willed it so. Well, we simply can't wait to see what whatever it is my husband had lost turns out to be. Can we, Queen Mother? But of course, it is going to be something that is going to be a pleasant surprise. I can't help observing that Igwe's royal cloak is not in the usual place. Oh, the cloak? Um, <laughs> the royal cloak. Well, I thought it best to remove it for cleaning and safekeeping. I mean, until it is time for my son Ubieze's coronation. Hmm. Okay. That's very prudent of you, Your Majesty. If you must permit me now, I must be on my way. Oh, oh no. May the spirit of my late son guide you safely as you do your best. Thank you, Queen Mother. Your Majesty. Mother, what is this suspense that I sense in the atmosphere? What suspense? What atmosphere? Come on, Mom. It is exasperating when you treat me as if I'm some sort of a, a fool. I saw your reaction when Ono mentioned of a thing that my father has lost. Tell me, what is this thing that my father has lost that got you so anxious? Tell me, son. What do you remember about the legend of the royal cloak of Opiese Kingdom? The legend of the royal cloak of Obeza Kingdom. Yes. History has it that at expense of the death of every king, that the royal cloak disappears and appears to the one who is next in line. Um, what has that got to do with everything? Your father's royal cloak disappeared yesterday, moments before he died. What? I mean, how, how is that even possible? It is possible. And there was a witness. Uluma the maid saw it disappear. How? I mean, I am yet to see my father's voyo clock. And I am father's heir after all. Am I not supposed to have encountered the cloak by you now? You are your father's one and only heir. Perhaps the cloak is taking its time. It will surely appear to you at the appropriate time. Let us just hope so. Ubezi, trust the words of your mother when I say to you that you must surely ascend the throne of your fathers. Nothing will stand in your way. I will make sure of that. There you are, brother. The maid said I'll find you here. You look perturbed. Is something wrong? I don't know if you heard that the Voyo cloak has disappeared. You don't say. Well, when I suddenly didn't see it in the palace and no one was talking about it, I thought maybe mom removed it and kept it somewhere for safekeeping or something. I thought wrong. Wow, wow, wow. 
Is it that the, the, the mystery behind the royal clock of Obese Kingdom is true? Do you know, I used to think it's all about folk tales. It isn't, apparently. What disturbs me most is why is the royal clock not appearing to me? Why? Do you mean considering the fact that he said that the clock is supposed to appear to the next in line once the king is dead? I am the next in line. So what is holding the damn clock appearing? What? Amazing, you need to calm down. Calm down. Why are you so eager to ascend the throne? Because it's my destiny. I am born to be this. To be king. No doubt. But I, I hope you realize that being the Igwe is no fit. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown they say. I am my father's first son. I am the first son of this house. That automatically makes me white enough and fit enough to wear the crown of Obi's kingdom. Yes. This is what I'm born to be. King. Do you understand that? No doubt. No doubt. Uh, Excuse me. Bye, bye, bye. Is there anybody home? Hello? Who is there? Hey, somebody. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my boy. Uh, sir, did you perhaps miss your room? No. Now that I've seen you, I know I'm in the right place. The resemblance between you and your father is very striking. Sir, you, you know my father? Yes. Who is that? Oh, oh no. Uh -huh. Mama, he said that he knows my father. Gozika. Oh no. Um, Onowo, I'm sorry to say this, but your journey is a futile one. Because you see, what you seek is not in my possession. Uh, Ngozika, our people have a saying that Inha Banaka Adeje The resemblance between your son and his father is very striking. My son has no father, Onowo. I have played the role of father and mother ever since he was born till now. And I want it to be left that way. That is where you are wrong. No woman has the power to make herself a mother without a man. But I can see that the wound is deep. But on the other hand, why do you keep bearing grudges, being angry towards a dead man? So much so that you have to deny his dying wish. Coin the words anyhow you like to please yourself. No, go ahead. What do you say? Your Igwe didn't want to recognize his son when he was alive. And now he's dead. I'm keeping that wish alive for him. Leave us alone. This is beyond Igwe Bieze. It is beyond him. His people need a successor. They need a king. Your son's people need him. Wrong, Onogu. My son is not the successor to Obieze throne. Igwe Obieze has an older son. People should go and crown Lolo a jealous son, the Igwe now. If, if only it were that simple. But it is not. Gosika, uh, I can see that you are not in a good frame of mind today. Maybe I should come back tomorrow morning and we'll continue on this. I mean, I'm sure it would have calmed down. Hmm? So I shall be on my way now. With all due respect, Ono, yes. I will advise you not to bother coming back tomorrow. Because you see, my answer will still remain the same. My son Chuka will not be used to fulfill the dying wishes of a selfish king. Now please, if you don't mind, you may take your leave. I will take my leave, but um, the point of advice, let us not for close anything. Hmm? Um, Queen Mother, how does it sound? Sounds good. Have a nice and safe trip on your way home. Thank you, Ngozika. Oh, by the way, where is the prince? Tell him I'm on my way. Oh, no, can you leave? <laughs> Thank 
suppose this has to do with the cloak I found the other day. I'm so sorry, Chuka, but everything I've ever done, everything I've ever wished for is just to protect you. Protect, protect me from what? From whom, Mama? You won't understand, son. Then make me understand. See, I'm not a child anymore. That man that came here, what, what, what did he come here to do? Did he bring a message from my father? What did you hear? How much do you know? I was not eavesdropping, if that is what you're asking. <laughs> it's obvious, isn't it? It only takes the mention of one person to get your mood to change so drastically. My father. I'm sorry, Chuka. I'm so sorry. Mama, what message did that man come here to deliver? Wait. Has, has my dad finally decided to acknowledge me as his son? Mama, has he talked, please? Chuka, I know. I know how much you've yearned for your father to acknowledge you. How long you've waited for him to call you son. I'm sorry. Yes, the man did bring message from your father. No. I'm sorry. Mama, no. no. Chuka. No. Chuka. Chuka. Chuka, come back. Chuka. Oh. Oh. Knock, knock. Hello? Who is that? It's me. Oh, good afternoon. Hello. Oh, yeah. You returned? Yes, I told you <laughs> I would come back. You see, Ingozika, the onus has fallen on me to bring back Igwe Obiezer's son. I told you this is his dying wish. Young lady. Yes? Did you see Igwe? What took you so long? Is His Majesty not home? His Majesty has warned me to tell you never to show your face anywhere close to the palace. What? What? <laughs> he said I should give you this. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> and in his word, he says he already has a son and he doesn't need another. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. In his very own words, he said, he already has a son and he does not need another. Why then ask for the rejected son with his dying breath? Listen, Ngozika, that boy is the chosen one. No, he's not. He's not a no. If I am not wrong, then history has it that Every heir to the throne of Obieze kingdom is chosen by the royal cloak. Well, I and my son have not witnessed such mysterious occurrence, and I pray to God we don't. Don't you see that you and the dead Igwe are backing up the wrong tree? My son is not the chosen one, Bikun. Well, as um, an indigent of Obieze kingdom yourself, you know very well that the royal cloak aside, there are other tests that an heir has to prove his suitability for the throne. Look, Gosika, this is your son's destiny. Are you going to stand in his way? Are you going to deny him his roots? No, if that is the only way to guarantee my son's safety, yes, I will. No. Chuka, what? Mama, Onowu is right more than anything. I, ha I have to know my rule. Please do not stand in the way. I'll make him there. Who won't go? Dike! Dike, Dike! Dike, Dike! It will catch you. Cause 
Not exactly what we were expecting, right? Well, not exactly. I, I mean, it's huge and opulent. Exactly. Exactly because the gods have been good to Obiese Kingdom. And Obiese is a prosperous one, you know? <laughs> I see. Yes. So, welcome to the palace of your fathers, where you belong. Well, well. Who do we have here? Oh, good afternoon, Your Majesty. Hmm. Oh, no. Yes. My suspicion was right about the mission my husband sent you on. So, this is it. I should have known. Gozika and her little. What hole did you two crawl out from? Mother! With all the respect, Your Majesty. Did you just talk back at me? Were you just rude to me? Do you know who I am? <laughs> and so what if you're the queen, Angela? What? Would you cower in fear? Or run away and hide? Even when you insult us? Of course not. We are not afraid of you. You ought to be. Ngozika, you ought to be afraid. As a matter of fact, you just made the biggest mistake of your life when you decided to come back to this kingdom after so many years. Oh, your majesty. Why don't you take it easy on her? We are not at war. It's war, no. You and my husband started a war when you took the step. We shall see how we win. Come, come, my son. Come, come give your grandmother a hug. Ah, I thank the gods that they have kept me alive up till now to see this day. My child, you are the spiting image of your father. I can remember as if it were yesterday. He looks exactly like you when he was your age. Welcome, my dear. Let us go inside. Okay. Let us go. Eh. Gozika. Gozika. Please, let's go inside. It's all right. You are welcome. Don't tell me you're crying again. Crying? Of course not. I'm, I'm not crying. I'm just thinking. Thinking about the past. About my father. Yes. About your father. Your new home. Your new family. Asking myself if if we made the right decision. I have a confession to make. What is that? The thing is that I was so eager to come to this place, you know, to meet my real family and all. But now, I'm not so sure anymore. Why? Because of the cold reception we got from the Queen? Yes, that. And also, although the palace is very big and impressive, it's so cold, it's so empty, like there's no love in here. Like our little house in your maternal home. I know so. I know. Well, I suppose I don't need to ask why Lola hates us so much. And I'm guessing that's why he never wanted us to come here in the first place. You're right. You know, like they say, the heart of man is desperately wicked. And you, my dear child, your young heart cannot begin to comprehend how wicked the desperation here is. But you know what? 
we are here already. And I know, I know we're going to make it, no matter what they throw at us. We're going to make it. Okay, mom. So. <laughs> what? No way, mother. You mean all this while your husband, my so honorable father, isn't honorable at all? This is laughable. Who would imagine a concubine and his son? Yeah. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> At least someone found this whole situation hilarious enough to laugh. <laughs> because I am trying to get out of the shock myself. How? How can father keep, keep such a huge secret away from us? How? Listen, Obiezi, this should not be so funny to you. I mean, if you tried a little, just a little harder to stay around the palace, instead of gallivanting around the village, perhaps things will not happen behind your back. What are you talking about, mother? Okay, you are talking about the woman and her son taking up residence in this house. Exactly. And you should ask yourself, why is that? Ask yourself, why is that? There is nothing there. Now father is dead. The greedy concubine woman has come to lay claims on my father's properties. Yes. That, that, that shouldn't give you worries. What are, these things are common with concubines and their wealthy boyfriends. They shouldn't be a noose. Listen to me, Obiezi. Let me tell you. That boy poses a threat to you. Yes. Let me tell you that. And I would suggest we start now to devise a plan that will make sure it does not get to that. Haba. <laughs> Haba, mother. Haba. How? A threat? <laughs> How can that even be possible? I don't just know. How can... What, what are you talking about? You know what? I suggest you take a nap. Hmm? Calm your nerves. Because you're getting worked up over nothing. That is the truth. You are getting worked up over nothing. How can a boy of 18 years pose threats to me? It is not possible. No. What are, you know, okay, let's take it, even if he's father's son. Eh? That is no problem. I am the first son of this house. That automatically makes me the heir apparent to the throne. So you don't need to worry yourself over nothing. Exactly. Just calm your nerves. Exactly. I know how, how angry, how disappointed, how heartbroken you feel. But mother, you need to relax. Don't get yourself overworked. Well, that's no longer possible, at Daisy. It's no longer possible. There is also the issue of your father's missing cloak. Have you thought about that? Have you thought of where on earth you could have disappeared to? Had you? That and that woman showing up in this palace with her bastard son is enough to give me high blood pressure. Mother, mother, calm down. Calm down like I said. I believe the gods and the cloak are taking their biding times together. The cloak will appear when when the time is right. That is it. Oh, is there any reason it shouldn't appear? Is there? Mother, relax. Okay? Relax yourself. I am the first son. That gives me the right to the throne. Right? At the appointed time. Oh, when you are needed to play your role in life that time will surely come oh, 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 oh prepared for you good morning before you were born i think i overslept yes you did sleepy head but seeing the fact that you're a hard-working young man his mother's little helper it's okay for you to oversleep sometimes Please take this as a, a welcome vacation. It's long overdue. Mama, remember, I'm not sorry to anyone. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's true. You're not little anymore. You're a growing little man. Grown young man. Oh, okay, I see. Grown young man. My apologies. Oh. You are forgiven, Mama. Okay. 
see that you do not forget next time. No, no, no. I won't. I won't. I won't. Thank you so much, kind <laughs> sir. How was your night? Yeah? Who is that? Hold on. Good morning, Queen Mother. Good morning, my son. Good, good morning, Your Majesty. I hope you slept well, given the fact that this is an unfamiliar environment. I hope you slept well. Yes, we slept well, Your Majesty. Okay. Okay, so how are you, son? Um, I'm very well, thank you, Your Majesty. Mm -mm. I won't have you call me that. No, no, no. Call me grandmother. I insist. Mm? Uh, all right, um, grandmother. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like sweet music in my ears. <laughs> okay, uh, I came personally to tell you breakfast will soon be ready. So you freshen up and come down to the royal hall for breakfast. But oh, meanwhile, the royal designer will be coming later to come and fit you. I cannot wait for you to start dressing in a manner that is comely to your position. You are royalty. You are royalty. Um, Your Majesty. My dear. You have our greatest gratitude for the royal designer you called to fit my son. but. I think I and Chuka will be more comfortable eating in this room. No, 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 Gozeka. You and my grandson are a very integral part of our family. A very big one at that. See, everybody is supposed to, to accept you. Anyone that says no to it has something else to think about. But, but your majesty. No, 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 Gozeka, no. No other words. Please, allow me. Allow me to write in the wrongs that my son has done against you. Good morning, Grandmother. Good morning, my friend. Well, I can see you did not even waste time to invite our newfound family to the king's table. You just call them family. Mm -hmm. So that is what they are. Of course, of course, that's what they are. I must bid the both of you welcome to my family. Thank you. And um, I must say that it's quite a delightful thing to know that I have a younger brother. Uh, well, <laughs> if I must say, me too, I am delighted. Well, I'm pleased to meet you both. My name is Chukan. I'm also delighted to have a big brother. Big brother or no big brother boy, you must learn how to address me properly. I am the next king of our father's kingdom. I'm sorry. I'm just... Hi. <laughs> pleased to meet you. I am Adesi, Princess Adesi. Your elder sister, obviously. It's okay, it's okay, that's enough. Busy. Can we eat this breakfast in peace? Your Majesty. Of course we can. We can eat in peace, yeah. Is your mother not coming down? Oh, she sent her apologies. Uh, in her words, she rather find this present company a tie, if you understand what I mean. I see. Yes. Uh, grandmother, pay him your mind. Mother is just feeling a little bit under the weather, that's all. Nothing more. Who wouldn't feel like that? When you have some funny characters on, on King's table, parading themselves as fans. Yes, yes. 
Oh, you're not used to the food? Sure, let's see his Sit down and eat. Son? Sit down. No, no, he doesn't like the food. Obieze. You don't like the food as well? You're not used to the food. You know where they came from? Obieze! Hold it right there. But well, mother, I'm sorry, they're not true. They're not used to this modern food. Have you been his apple or curry? Oh, yeah. Chuka. Chuka. Mama, I had enough. I want to go back home. Surely you don't mean that. Yes, I do. Mama, this was a very, very big mistake, Mama. It's very obvious that they hate us. Let's just pack our things and leave. My poor baby. I know you're hot. And I know I tried to discourage you at first, but that was because I was trying to protect you. I was trying to shield you from them. Because I know the exact thing they were going to do to you was this thing that is playing out now. Then let's pack our belongings and leave. Please, let's go back to our peaceful existence here, maternal home. Isn't that what you've always wanted? Yes. Yes, my boy, that was what I wanted, but I was wrong. I was. Chuka, this is your destiny. This is where you belong. Your roots are grounded here. And look at me. I am not going to allow those bullies make us do exactly what they want. What they want? Can't you see? This is what they want. They want to scare us. They want to intimidate us. They, 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 want, to, they want to overshadow us. They want to scare us so much that we run away with our tails between our legs. But we're going to do exactly the opposite of that. Because you and I, we're not cowards. No, no, no buts. No buts, my boy. Remember. Think back. Remember what you said your father told you in that dream. Listen, son. You are the Obeza fifth of Obeza kingdom. You must rise up to take your rightful place. Do not allow your destiny to go in the wrong hands. Okay? Bye, son. No. Yes. And I'm sure you know now why your father said he doesn't want your destiny to fall into the wrong hands. I'm my father's chosen heir. The throne of Abyss is my destiny. Exactly. Now, I don't know why the gods chose you instead of your stepbrother. But. It is clear to any right-thinking human being that the people in this household want to usurp your destiny. And we won't allow them. We won't let them do that. I'm scared. I know, my son. I know. But don't forget, I am here with you. Always with you. And you have the spirit of your father guarding you. The assurance from the gods protecting you. That is the significance of the royal cloak you found. But... But finally... Isn't the kingship of a kingdom meant to fall on the shoulders of the first son of the Igwe, and not the second? Baffles me as much as it baffles you, my son. But the truth is that this family is shrouded in a lot of mystery. Everything will definitely be revealed in this due time. But meanwhile, we need to tread with caution. We must not lose sight as to the reason why we are here. Do you understand? Yes, Mama, I understand. Come here. No matter where you are, ah, no matter what 
Who is that? Yeah, it will catch you. My princess. You're, you're welcome. Come on. Thank you. Um, grandmother said that she informed you that the royal um, designer is here and your presence is needed downstairs. Oh. Okay, Chuka. Uh, thank you. We'll be down in a moment. All right, see you downstairs. Um, I want to use this medium to say sorry for my family's rudeness. You see, I, I do not want to give an excuse for their behavior. Just that, um, Chuka, your existence came to us as a shock. That's it. Well, I can imagine. Listen, I for one, I do not have a problem with you. When the chips are down, I don't think I really mind having you be my brother. You don't. I don't. <laughs> well, Emma, it's not even fun being the last baby of a house. So it's okay for you to take over. You know. So here, yeah. welcome, kid brother. Mm, welcome. And I must say, I'm very thrilled to have an actual princess as my sister. You're welcome, brother. So let's go downstairs before grandmother starts to sleep. Yeah. Let's go. Mm. I am very sure you turned the heads of all the maidens in this kingdom. <laughs> Your sister is right, son. You look so handsome and distinguished in this cloth, like a distinguished gentleman. Of course, my grandson is a gentleman. And a, a very fine gentleman at that. <laughs> and he is distinguished because it runs in his blood. He is royalty. Aha, uh -huh, grandmother. Say that again, loudest, <laughs> loudest. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Obiora. Thank you for answering us so promptly. I, I, I am going to take all that. I will take them. Everything? Yes, my dear. I will take everything. See, I have ordered for a total overhaul of your dresses, your shoes. Just name them. Because from now, I want you to dress the way you are. You are royalty. So you will be dressed as such. Grandmother, I don't even know what to say. Grandmother, thank you very much. Mama, did you hear that? I heard. I heard. Thank you, thank you so much. much, Queen Mother. I don't even know. have our greatest gratitude. No, no, no. No thanks. No thanks, my dear. This is what it should be. Oh, well. What do we have here? Hmm. The pig from the pigsty is getting a bath and a change of wardrobe. <laughs> Queen Mother, I hate to say it, but wash a dog, brush a dog, a dog will always remain a dog. Mother, would you stop? I can't believe you say such a despicable thing here. And you are very stupid for sitting here and joining in this foolishness. You should know better than befriending our enemies. Uh, enemies, you say? Mother, please count me out of the vendetta. All I see here is family and not enemies. What? Adesi, you talk back at me? Mother, you, 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 hurt. Queen Mother, she's, she's going to hurt her. See, hello, my grandson, just hold it right there. It's okay, sir. This is your home. Who did that? Your Majesty. Oh, no. I received the message that uh, Obeze called for a meeting of the council members to discuss the burial of the Leti Igwe. Hmm. I see. Oh, no. 
There is no better time than now. As you attend that meeting, you have to go in company of my grandson. This is the time to let the elders know that my son will be a war another son. Mm -hmm. I think you are right. You are very correct. But something still bothers me. Is it about the royal cloak that has not reappeared? Exactly. Ngozika claims that neither the prince nor herself have seen it. And it appears nobody has seen it since it disappeared. Oh no. No one can ever fathom the ways of the gods. It is for us to ask them to order our footsteps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed, you are correct. Mm. Nevertheless, we should not lose heart. Mm? Mm. We should not lose heart. Because I know that certainly, certainly our ancestors cannot allow the wrong person to sit on that throne. To fear what? That will not happen. To what, Joe? To It's okay. It will happen like that. Okay. Thank you. So, what do you think? Do I look the part? My darling, you look like the son of an Iwe. And if I must remind you, Chuka, remind yourself. You're not playing a part, my dear. Yes, Mama. I guess I'm nervous about meeting the elders of the council. I know. It's scary, right? But you just have to master courage, okay? You know, I have so much faith in you. I believe so much in you. And I know you'll be all right. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Now, let's not keep the owner waiting. Yeah. Let's go. My fellow elders, a thousand apologies. Yeah, I am begging for your understanding. Kolo? Yes. What is the meaning of this? Why did you invite my father's little boy? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did I hear you clearly, Kolo? Who is this young boy standing before us? He's not meant to be here. Besides, he's a small boy. No, no, no. That's where you are wrong, my prince. You see, as the son of let. Igwe obeys the faith. Prince Chuka deserves to sit where the burial rights of his father is being discussed. Uno, come again. If what you said is what I just heard, are you telling us the Igwe obeys had a son which none of us knew of? Indeed, elders of obeys On the day of his death, before he finally gave up ghost, the Igwe called me in and made startling revelations to me. He did? Yes. Please tell us, what did he reveal? Yes, the startling revelation is that contrary to what we've always known and believed, that aside from Prince Obiese Jr. here, that Igwe has a son who is blood and flesh of his own. And that is him, Chuka. And he instructed me to make sure that I bring him back to the land of his forefathers. The prince of Obeya's the kingdom, even if not born of the queen, mm -hmm. must not be allowed to be wandering in an unknown land while the root beckons. Our lady we did the right thing. Exactly. Um, elders of Obeya's the kingdom, you will all agree with me that Prince Chuka here deserves to have a seat where the burial of his father is being discussed. Of course, it is proper. He is a true son of the late Igwe. And this land has accepted him. So, 
Why was why must not not accept him? This is preposterous. What is this? Elders of my land, don't tell me you accept this imposter simply because Ono will say so. How we sure this is not a ploy to deceive us? A ploy to deceive us? By whom? For what? If I may ask, my prince. The prince, I do not think that this boy is an imposter. May looking at him, you know that he's the carbon copy of our late Eze. Indeed. The young boy looks like our late king. Than you. If I must say, your highness. So, um, my elders, you see, you people are not selected as elders of the land for nothing. I think this is one of the reasons, one of the occasions that call for your wisdom. So, my, my young man, come, come, come. Come and salute uh, and pay homage to the elders of Udiyaza Kingdom. Elders of Obi is a kingdom. I greet you. Good. Just have a seat there. Yeah. Good. So the baby can now go on. <laughs> but I do not understand this. I don't know what is going on. I smell conspiracy staring. Is it that or no? I can't seem to, to, to wrap my fingers around it. Oh, well, you don't have to wait around until they spring any more surprises at you. I mean, Today is already the introduction of your father's son. Who knows what other is they have up their sleeves? Mm -hmm. It's like, seriously? Mother, can, can you two listen to yourself talk? Insofar as I'm concerned, there is nothing wrong with Chuka being introduced to the elders in council. After all, his father's son. Will he shut your mouth there? Anyway, I don't blame you for not seeing anything wrong with what is happening. After all, you already started fraternizing with the enemy. Oh, come on, mother. Come on. You're being very paranoid. I mean, what kind of trust do you think that poor boy and his mother poses for us all? What? Ah, Daisy, he must be a fool to ask me that. Do you not realize that your father's enemies, the ones who want to get their claws on your father's throne, can use that upstart chuka to usurp your brother's throne? That is not possible. That will be over my dead body. Will I allow that to happen? Never! What is that? Now you've mentioned it, you know what will happen? I am no more comfortable living on, on that same roof with those people. I don't want them anymore in this palace. Obieze, what are you planning to do? Because you cannot throw them out of the house. Of course I will. I will throw them out of this house. That boy is the biggest threat I have. And I cannot live on that same roof with a traitor. I would not do that. This is Chuka's house too. He is father's son. So you have no right whatsoever to throw him out of his father's house. You're speaking from your honors. Watch me do that. Watch me do that. Maybe when I throw that boy's mother on the streets, then he will have no option than to join me. In our general. Madam, I cannot have you in my car. So get out. Bro, I said get out. How? 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 The brother! Hey, hey, hey! hey, hey. Obviously, huh? stop this madness right this minute. Will you take this bag back into the house? I cannot do that, Grandma. I'm Send sorry back to, to the house! I'm sorry to disappoint you, Grandma. I cannot have you soon in my house. A there he goes again! Uh, there, 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 there. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Mama! Are you okay? Are you okay? Have, have, have you seen it? You! How dare you! How, how dare you! Hey! 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 Well, the way I say it, Ngozeka is just a concubine. A hall that my late father misfortunately put in a family way. With all due respect, elders of Obiese Kingdom, want this man to stop insulting my mother. 
Because I am not going to sit here and watch him call my mother names. And what will you do? Tell me, is your mother anything less than what I called her? She's even worse. Oh. And what would you say about your own mother? Who clearly didn't give you the basic home training? If not, you wouldn't be so lacking in manners. What? Can you imagine this impudent rat? Did you just stop? Uh, um, my prince, please take it easy. I ask you to calm down. Don't insult the memory of your late father. Hmm? Yes, Prince Obiese. If you would, desist from calling Chuka's mother derogatory names. Exactly. Indeed. No one would like to sit down and hear his parents being insulted before him. That's correct. Well, my priest, if both of you could calm down, the elders and council are capable to bring this matter to an end. So, Prince Obiese, for the sake of clarity, what is it you want? All right, let me make it clear. I want you elders to tell this boy that I have the right as the heir apparent to ask his mother to leave this palace. If he so misses his mother, he can as well join her. And I say, my mother goes nowhere. As the son of the late Igu Ubieze, I have every right to bring my mother here if I want to. Even if my father didn't marry her. That's right. Prince, wherever his son wants to go to and wants to take the mother along, that is granted. Yes. I want nonsense. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. I want nonsense, Edda. Yes! Let me make it clear. I am the heir apparent to the throne of my father. And I have the right to decide who stays and who goes. As it says, I don't want his mother in this palace anymore. They can go to any of my father's property. For all I care, I don't want to see them again. You must be joking. On the contrary, Prince Obiense, you see, you don't have such powers. What? Yes. Onowu, do not dare me. Onowu, I don't want some palace. Onowu, I am the heir apparent. The obvious and insist. So my words are law. Well, sorry to disappoint you. See, the one who is heir apparent to the throne of obvious kingdom is Chuka. Your father selected him before he died. Ah, see! Ah, see! He is the one. Whose words shall be law in Obia's kingdom? I sin! I sin! I sin! I sin! It can't be. It just cannot be. My suspicions all the while was right. So your father sent Onowu to go and bring that boy here to usurp your throne. How? That is not possible. I have never offended father in any way. So why would he want to do that? Why? But it's obvious. It's obvious he harbored hatred against you. Yes. May heaven punish his wicked, devious, conniving soul. Mother, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Father never showed up any hatred. How do you expect me to believe that a man who raised me as a baby would want to hate me so much so to strip me of my birthright? That is not possible. But the evidence is staring you in the face right now, is it not? The evidence is right there in your face. You said it yourself. Your father stripped you of your birthright. Your stupid father chose a son born to him by a concubine over you. No! What if that is not possible? How? I know it hurts, Obiezi, but it's not over. We can still defeat them. We can still get back what belongs to us. How? Your father may have chosen the stupid bastard, but I do not see the cloak in their possession. Meaning? Meaning that perhaps the gods have not made their choice yet. Maybe the gods are taking their time with something. Or maybe we can manipulate the hands of the gods. Remember, heaven help those who help themselves. Have you people heard the letters? What is the letters now? Just us now. 
Tori leke plaza o. Tawa let Igwe chose the little Prince Chuka to succeed his throne instead of Prince Obi as a junior. That's not him right, too, if you ask me. Prince Obi is such an arrogant fool. He deserves everything that is happening now. He would never have made a good Igwe, if you ask me. I call this one trouble in paradise. With the kind of tension going on at the palace here, heads are bound to roll. Wahala well, day for this palace. Oh. Mm. And no day. Yeah. Hey guys, take a play football with me. Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Rico. Long live peace. Obi is a deceased. Gosh, I suppose this is going to take a lot of getting used to, but I'm not the king yet. Your Majesty, it's a matter of time. We believe that it would be very unseemly for the Igwe to be seen playing with the servants, Your Majesty. Is that so? Yes. Well, then I guess being the Igwe is going to be very boring. Well, I'll make my rules as long as I go. In the meantime, do I have to command you to play ball with me? Behold, the supposed heir to the throne of Obiese, cavorting with nobodies. Doesn't this go to show how unworthy you are of the throne? With all due respect, Your Majesty, I was taught that those who look down on others only do so because deep inside, they feel worthless and they are trying to bring everybody else down to their level. What? You insolent child! How dare you! I'm not going to let you do that, Your Majesty. Oh, and one more thing. Before you call someone a nobody, remember we all turn to dust someday. And what are you standing around for? Your Majesty. Disappear from my sight! No, I'm shocked by your revelation that the lady we chose his younger son, who nobody ever knew in this community before now. I understand uh, how you feel. I understand what you are saying, my brother. See, I was also shocked myself when Igwe made this same revelation on his dying bed. If I may ask, did you also reveal to you? The reasons for his decisions? No. Not to my knowledge. But whatever the reasons are, I think she will follow him to the grave. Oh no. Come back again. Okay, Moye, please to be as hell. He will not accept his father's decision without a fight. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Well. Well. Thank gods of our land, or thank the gods of our land. But aside from the Igwe's uh, choice and uh, the way he wanted it to be, there are other three tests that determine who ascends the throne. That's good. Mm -hmm. The young prince, did he pass the test? I'm asking of the three ascetic tests that determines who wears the crown. Well, not yet. He has not, but I'm optimistic. Anyway, let the best man win. That's that's uh, <laughs> where I pitch my own tent now. I'm going to attack your child. It's war. Mm. Mm. Are you not going to do more of this? I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in the problem. Yeah, that's a bad one. Good afternoon, Adizu. Good afternoon, baby brother. How are you? Adizu, when will you stop addressing me as baby brother? I am not such a baby, you know. I know. I just love to tease you. Well, whatever rocks your boots is. You know, I, I thought about coming to see you in your room later today. You did? Mm-hmm. Chuka, I heard my father chose you to succeed him instead of a PSA. Um, Adizi, I'm very sorry. I didn't wish for any of this to happen. All I just wanted was to get to know my family. I know. Chuka, I understand. I mean, I could see the sincerity in your eyes. I can't tell why my father chose to make such a decision, but... 
I just want you to know that I do not hate you. And then I don't have a problem with you being his choice. You really don't? Mm -mm, I don't. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pixies. Your word means the world to me. And it's... what are you doing with this imposter? Oh, mother was right. Isn't she? Why are you always found around my, my, my enemies? But Mr. will you just stop being offensive? What? He is not the enemy. None of this was his fault. If you are looking for who to blame, I suggest you go to our late father. Are you sure she dare? We could get locked up for assault and battery. It will, it will. Now, you're challenging me. Eh? Fantaclean I'm more a way at the alley. May focus. As for you. I will deal with you. <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, my okay. My prince, if I understand you correctly, you want me to change my testimony. You want me to lie that your late father, our Igwe, did not choose the younger prince as heir to the throne, but you. Is there anything big to name That means you want me to put my integrity on the line. No. If your so-called integrity is so important to you, why don't you start by telling the elders that the late Igwe wasn't in his right frame of mind when he told you what he told you? Yes, at least that is not far from the truth. It's only a madman that will do what my late father did. Oh, my prince, I will not have you talk ill of our late Igwe. No, I will not go for it. Oh no, what are you talking about? Can't you see that I'm desperate here? That little bastard sugar is getting on my skin as the day goes by. Oh no, I will not let go of my inheritance without a fight. So tell me how much you want. How much do you want so you can be on my side? Well, my prince, I am not for sale. That is the point I am trying to make here. I take that as your final answer. Yes. And let me advise you as a young man. Please allow faith to run its full course. Don't do anything that you regret later on in life. To hell with faith or no. I will create my own faith and my own destiny. And in spite of fortune, you're not going to be part of me. Oh no, watch your back. That is what happened. I followed Queen Mother out to see her doctor. I've left you food in case you return home and feel hungry. She'll be back soon. Don't miss me too much. This. Yes, who is that? <clears throat> uh -huh. Hey! Who are you? Who sent you? You don't expect me to answer that question. Why not? Ah! Oh, click, click, and I move what I say, I don't steal. Who sent you? Oh. 
you, you didn't ask questions. Did you ask questions? You came to know whose house to harass me. You are still there. Hey! Oh my God. You don't know me. The owner who of this kingdom. Oh, there's a kingdom. You came to try me in my house. That's no problem. Don't worry. No matter what is done, it's your destiny. Your destiny. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. Oh. Oh. Sometimes. You returned. And what exactly do you mean by that, Lolo Ijele? Oh, my dear Chuka, I am so sorry I couldn't come to see you at the hospital. <laughs> you see, I have been quite busy. Mm. It's okay, Your Majesty. I wasn't even expecting you. Oh, well, good. It's good you understand me very well. I heard it was food poisoning. Yes. My son was poisoned. Wouldn't have an idea who did it, will you? <laughs> Don't be melodramatic in Gozika. Please, this is not so popular. I rather think you should be grateful your son survived. Yes. I mean, not even a cat in his nine lives is always that lucky. So there is no explanation as to why you were poisoned? No. I know what you're thinking. My mother also thinks it's my older brother and Lolo that are behind it. Well, strange things happen these days. Oh, which makes me ask. Why me? I mean, I still cannot make sense of why my father would choose me over my elder brother. My boy, certain things are better left unsaid. But suffice it to say that His Majesty had his reasons. No, I, I realize that. Mm. But one of his reasons couldn't have been to pit two brothers against each other. Father should have known that that would happen. Nevertheless, what needs to be done, must be done. Even if you throws the kingdom into this array. And I have some people I go, mommy. No, I, I, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I have what it takes to go against them. To do what, to do what father wants of me. No, you can do it, my son. You can do it. You are the son of your father. You have your father's spirit. You have the strong spirit of your father. If, hmm? if you say so. Hmm. And um, talking about, you know, succeeding your, your father. The, did you by any chance see the royal cloak of Aobi as a kingdom? I found. Shit, 
should I say what found me? No. Chuka. Listen to me and listen attentively. This must not go out. Nobody must know that you found this clock or that it is in our position. Do you understand me? But why, Mama? Because it spells doom. It spells trouble. Don't you see? Clocks doesn't just appear from anywhere. This is going to complicate our lives and our lives are better the way they are already. So we don't need this trouble. We don't need this complication. Now listen to me. This secret must stay between the both of us. No third party. Is that clear? Y yes, ma'am. Good. Real. Oh, you mean the real cloak that was rumored to have disappeared the day my father died? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you also heard that whoever it appears to is the true successor to the throne. Um, yes, I have heard. And uh, you didn't say it too? No, I no, I have not I've not seen it. In fact, I just wish the the clerk would just choose my brother and save me all the stress. To fear what? I pray you do not make light this matter. What's up, bro? You, you look worried. Is something wrong? Finally, someone noticed. I swear I am literally going to explode if I don't leave the four walls of this palace very soon. Oh. Oh, so, where are you planning to escape to? I don't know. Maybe go for a stroll or delve in the bushes to block Udara. Get some for me. Sure, sis. Please, get back on time. You know how mom can worry about you. Let's not give a high PP. Yeah, yeah, sis. Uh, I promise I'm not going to waste time. All right. Eh? Remember the instruction, no? Eh, bros, we need to cross the border before we waste it. Then you have to wait till that fault. Well, the, the last time I saw Chuka, he told me he was going to pick some other fruits. 
was the last time I saw him? Odara fruits. Princess, can Chuka still be picking Odara fruits by this time of the night? Can he? Hey, where on earth can my son be? Where? Where else, Queen Mother? Where else? It is either my son is lost and wandering in this village. Or... He has been kidnapped. No, no, no. Has been kidnapped. Don't say that. Don't say that. Maybe he makes new friends and then he lost count track of time while he's with them. Oh. I think that's it. Oh, princess. Even as you're saying it, you know it's not true. What? Oh well, my goodness. What is this commotion about? Since you and your son came into this palace, it has been unnaturally loud. Anyway, what do you expect from uncultured low lives? It really was you. What have you done to my son? What in the world are you rambling about? Ijele. Mm. Ijele, will you stop pretending? Stop pretending and tell me where you got my son. First you and your wicked evil son had him poisoned. No, no. Ijele, tell me what you've done to me. How dare you accuse me? How dare you have the audacity to accuse me of such goodness? Queen Mother, I have, I have you to blame for this. <coughs> yes, I blame you totally for this. You brought this beggar into this palace to spy me. Will you shut up in the or whatever you call yourself? Will you just stop, please? And she's just being frantic and she's not thinking straight. That's it. How dare you tell me to shut up, you ungrateful daughter? You better warn her. Warn her because the next time she steps out of line, I will show her what I am truly capable of. As for your son, I truly wish she does not come back. Ijele! Ijele, ah. you know something ah. about it. Ah. Ah. Hey. Sit, down. Ah. Sit down. Sit down. Ah. Not Sit down. Ah. Not Tuka. Wake up. Search everywhere in this kingdom. Search. What the bushes, every nook and cranny. And don't return to this palace unless you have found him. Yes or no? We shall do as he said. No, no, this is ludicrous. Wait, are you all telling me that you're about to send them into the forest at this ungodly time of the night, knowing that their lives can be endangered? I mean, Free God for one miserable runt? Is that a sacrifice you, you, you are about to make? Mother, will you stop? This is not time to be insensitive as usual. Ijele, Ijele, I swear by the gods, you called me an uncultured woman. If you open that thing you call a mouth again, I will permanently shut it for you. Let me, let me go you. If you, if you try, let if you me talk run. again. Chuka, Chuka, Chuka. Look at you. Your Thank Highness! God. Thank the gods! Thank the gods, Chuka! Oh. Come to Grandma! Where did you go to? Come to Grandma! Where did you go to? Um, what, what really happened? Huh? I, I, was, I was kidnapped. Kidnapped? 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 Oh, come on, don't be silly, boy. I am sure you're letting your emotions run riot. No, I... I I know what I saw. Two men came out of nowhere and they, they knocked me out and put me in a bush. And I overheard them saying this night they will take me um, across the kingdom borders. Oh my yeah. God, this is serious. I, 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 I am sure those kidnappers are not from this town. They must have been sent by somebody who knows your exact position by that time. Oh well, thank goodness he's back safe and sound, oh, right? Yes, Thank the gods he's back, safe and sound. Thank the gods. 
how did you escape from those kidnappers? How? Huh? It was it was my father. I mean, dispute that my father helped me escape and led me here. Um, will you now take him in and let him freshen up? Yes, I will. Yes. I will do just that. Come, my son. Come, come. Shame to the devil and his accomplices. Nothing has happened to my son. Yes, yes. He's back home, safe and sound. Shame on all of you. Shame. Now, guys, go back to your duty post there. Eh? How? How, mom? How in the place is this possible? How? That fickle looking couldn't have been brave enough to escape two able bodied men. Why don't you put your voice down? The walls have ears. To hell with whatever the body the walls has. This is a well thought out plan. Well, it's obvious the guns you hired are not competent. I mean, how much energy does it take to, to get rid of that annoying pest? I mean, how much energy should it take? <sighs> Listen to me. The only thing stopping them from crowning that boy king is the issue of the missing clock. Nobody knows when the bloody thing will show up. Until that happens, I will suggest that you step up your game. You know what's at stake. The business deal you started cannot be executed if another sits on the throne. Well, I'm still optimistic about this. I am I'm optimistic that the cloak will definitely choose me. Don't be delusional, Abisi. Don't be delusional. Well, on the contrary, I'm the first son. The Igbo tradition has it that only the first son can inherit his father's place. Father might have made his choice, but the gods will do the right thing. And we all know how reliable the gods are, right? Listen, no be easy. I will suggest you stop dreaming and start planning. We need to be a step ahead of our enemies. Remember, heaven only helps those who help themselves. I'm very, I'm very sure of it. In fact, I've never been so sure of anything else in my life. But we don't have any proof. Yes, I too have my suspicions. But without proof, what can we do? Why, why go that far? Why do something so underhand and wicked? They actually wanted to kill me. Chuka, let's leave this place. Let, let's go away from here. These people are dangerous. They are unscrupulous. If, if they could go that far, who knows the next thing they would do? No, Mama. No, 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 Chuka. You're not listening to me. Okay, listen. Our lives was better before this. We, we, don't, we don't need all this. Just think about it. Eh? I, I'm not going to come here and sacrifice my only child for the throne of Obi as a kingdom. I'm sorry, Mama, but... But I can't. Not now that I know what kind of evil people my my elder brother and Lolo are. Chuka, is something wrong with you? Mama, I feel responsible. Now I know why my father never wanted to visit to succeed that throne. Why he chose me. Come on, Chuka, come on. I'm sorry, Mama. I I hate to think what will happen to the people of be as a kingdom if I let to be as a take that thing. Mama, there's only one way to stop them. Surely you don't mean... Yes, Mama. It's time we came clean about the truth of the missing cloak.
office for the uh, when I was turning home on an errand, I felt a mysterious presence. I ran out of fear, not knowing what was after me, until this out of nowhere dropped on me. Queen Mother, Nai, I believe this is the royal cloak of a busy kingdom. Rumored to have disappeared when my father died. You are correct. Oh. It really found you. The royal cloak found you. You are truly the son of your father. The Obieze the sixth of our kingdom. The ghosts cannot lie. They do not lie at all. They do not lie. His Royal Majesty, His Majesty, I greet you. Oh. What is going on here? Oh. This, this can't be. I said, what is going on here? How did you find it? I did not find you, brother. You found me. The royal cloak of a busy kingdom is mine now. Would you believe and bow down to me now? Asi! Asi! Over my dead body will I bow down to you? They cannot take away that which belongs to you. Your Majesty, you don't have to worry, we are here. Elders of Obeza Kingdom. Apart from the royal cloak located his heir. Our late Igwe himself appeared to our prince here in his dream, dropping the royal cloak on him as he declared him the heir to the throne. According to the legend of our kingdom, this is the second proof. Well, I want to have you know that Prince Chuka here um, had a, a brush with kidnappers recently. Kidnappers? Where? How? Oh no. Oh no, where? Well, all these questions are not important. What is important is that the prince is safe and with us now. Yes, yes. Oh. Yes. The spirit of his late father flew in the wings of the night to rescue him from the hands of the robbers. This is the third round of proof as to who is going to be the heir to the throne. Oh no, you don't mean it. Yes. My son, is it what Unowu said? Is it the truth? Yes, Nai. Everything happened according to Unowu's narration. Truly, this is the real heir to the obese kingdom. The gods of our land be praised. He said... All lies. Heirs of obese kingdom. Are you going to sit inside water and allow soap to get into your eyes? Can you not see that there is conspiracy here? Conspiracy? Conspiracy by who? And against who? If I may ask. Onowu and this boy's mother. They have both conspired against my son, Obiese. Yes, it is clear. We won't be surprised to find out that Ugozika is warming Onowu's bed. In gratification for this. Mm -hmm. She did that with my late husband. Your Majesty, I will sit here and watch you insult my mother. And the dog bags. You want to be king? What exactly do you know about being a king? At least I know not to trust people like you who resort to any evil means to get what they want. I see. You are the smart mouthed one, aren't you? But I warn you, child, when a child does not wait till he's old enough to tie his father's wrapper, the wrapper will end up blindfolding him. This is, this is a serious allegation and I won't take it kindly. So the three circle of proof is complete. Chuka is truly the chosen heir to the throne. To think that they had it 
in thy possession all this while. That bastard. That's nobody with the whole of a mother has, has fooled us. I'm so sorry, son. Sorry. Sorry. If we hadn't planned the kidnap, there won't be need for my father's spirits rescuing anybody. Oh. We, 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 we stepped our foot into this. Obezi, please calm down. You are not making sense anymore right now. Just calm down. Do not tell me to calm down. Don't you dare. Ask me to calm down because I'm at the verge of losing everything. How could you, mother? How could you? What is it, Adesi? Please. I don't have time for your outbursts right now. Are you and my brother plotting and had sugar kidnapped? What? How heartless can you be? A daisy, it's enough. You don't understand. Oh, really? I do not understand. Mother, please make me understand. Make me understand why. I guess you, you were also responsible for the poisoning while you were at it. Right? I do not need this, your harassment, right now! Mother, why would you want to kill that innocent child? What, what did he do? My God, I'm ashamed to call you, Mother. I am ashamed! Oh, no! Oh no, you have to talk to me. Talk to me or no. My prince, I thought you were going to be scared. You are going to be afraid stepping into my compound. Since your plans to kill me failed, or you didn't know I was going to know that you sent those boys after me. Oh no, please. I need answers. Oh no, I have I have so many questions that that, that, that is unanswered and it's driving me crazy. Why would my father treat me the way he did? What have I done? Please talk to me because I, I, I deserve that. I deserve to know. Well, uh, my prince, I don't owe you any explanation. The answers you seek lie with your mother. My mother? Yes, go. Ask the Lolo to tell you the history, the story behind your birth. Read your reactions. Didn't I? Please forgive me, Obiezi. Please forgive me. Yes. Igwe, Obiezi is not your real father. I'm sorry. What? You mean a man? I've lived. Why? 
Obiese, why? Why did you do it? <gasps> Obiese, why did you sing so low? You allowed mother to, to mislead you. Now look at you. Look at you. How is it? Leave me alone. You are already with the enemies. If you have come here to mock me, I will advise you leave this minute before I descend on you. Oh my God, my God, obviously you, you do not even have an atom of, of remorse for what you have done. Obviously, for two consecutive times you tried killing your own brother. He's no. not my brother! Don't you ever say that. He's a thief. A bloody thief, that's what he is. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Obviously, you did yourself more harm than good for all this, with all this alcohol. You try to hide behind this because you cannot face the guilt of what you have done. I dare say. Leave me alone. Leave me to swallow in my sorrow and in my guilt with alcohol. No, this is not the answer. It is not. If you ask me, I think you should just bring yourself down. Confess what you have done. Go to Chuka and ask for his forgiveness and everything will just... Shut your mouth! I should go to her and ask for much forgiveness. I can see you've totally lost it. Now get out. <laughs> so, two men, two suitors came for my hand in marriage. Your grandfather was one of them. Hmm. <laughs> so, Queen Mother, how did you make your choice? Oh, I, I, you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> so, eventually, it was your grandfather. Princess? Princess? I can no longer keep this to myself. I can't keep protecting them. Chuka, please, forgive me. What's the good idea about? Please. Why are you asking for my forgiveness? Because I know that my mother and my brother are responsible for all the attempts on your life. What the... Princess, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes. I'm ashamed to admit that my mother and my brother wanted this, this throne so badly that they resorted to kidnap and, and murder. <gasps> oh my goodness. Ijele. Ijele. I have always had my suspicions. Why would they want to kill Chuka? Why would they do that? He's still our blood. Why would they want to kill him? He is not your blood. Hmm? My son is not his biological father. What? Yes. Your Majesty. Uh, my son found out that Ijele cheated on him. Hey! Ijele fostered another man's son on my son. So when my son found out, though very late, he wanted to do something, but... Grandmother, what are you saying? That, that, that's not possible. No! I can't believe what you're saying. How? Finally. Who makes sense? Elders of our great community. We thank our ancestors and the gods for a successful burial of our last Igwe. As you know, custom and tradition says that a new Igwe must be crowned after eight market days from the date of the burial of the last one. Of course, Ono, you are very right. The customs and traditions of our people must be upheld. <laughs> Yes or no, nothing stops us from carrying the ritual coronation. Since the chosen heir of the kingdom mm. is here with us. Um, Prince Chuka, 
as you prepare to step into the shoes left for you by your father, I pray that you live long on the throne. Amen. May your reign know peace. Amen. May you marry and have children. Amen. You will be us princes and princesses. Amen. And there will be peace in the land and the Lord will be with us. Amen. Look at you. I never knew this day would come. I never even wished for it. The day you reign over the kingdom of Obiese. Now you plan to drown me in your tears. Where? Oh, yeah. Silly boy. Please don't cry. I'm already nervous as it is and I need to be assured that you're being strong for me. Yes. Yes, I am strong for you. But, Chuka, at this point, I need to ask you this question. Is this really what you want? Because if this is not what you want, you can walk out that door and I will be right behind you. It doesn't matter what your late father wanted or what your grandmother wanted. What matters to me is what you want. Is this what you want? Hello. Would you be kind enough to give water to an old weary traveler? Um, why not? There you are. There you my dear. No, I, I hope you don't mind drinking from my keg. Yeah, it's no cup anywhere. It's alright, your keg will do. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. Just like your mother. My my mother? Yes. Now, do you happen to know my mother? I do not only know your mother. I also know you. You do? Yes. Well, if that's the case, then you should know my father too, right? Why? Why do you ask? Well, because I... I don't know who my father is and I keep hoping that one day he'll come <sighs> looking for... I am my mom. <sighs> but I guess... Nay. Are you crying? <sighs> I've wronged you. I've wronged your mother. There are so many things I wish I had done right. And one of them is waiting until it is too late to come and claim you as my son. To claim me? Yes. Are you, are you my father? Yes. But please, do not turn your back on your people. Please. But, but why now? Why, why didn't you come soon? Why? I'm sorry, son. Suffice to say that I was a fool. Please tell your mother to find it in her heart to forgive me. Please. Yes. Father.
Listen, son. You are the Obeza fifth of Obeza kingdom. You must rise up to take your rightful place. Do not allow your destiny to go in the wrong hands. Okay? Bye, son. Brother, no! Chuka, wake up, wake up. Mama, I, I saw father. What? Yes, Mama. I, I saw him. He, he came to say goodbye and he also gave me that cloak that I saw the other day. It's all, it's all, it's all. Me. I'm one running away from this. This is what I want for my people. I know it's not going to be an easy ride, but yes, this is what I want for my people, for my father, and most importantly for myself. <coughs> Come here. Listen attentively. Can you hear the sound? That is the sound of defeat. Ubezi. Ah, defeat! Ubezi, please, stop it. Please, put the gun down. Please, my son, nobody has defeated us yet. Can you hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying? Nobody has defeated us yet. Just put the gun she down. You must be delicious. Because from where I am standing, all I can see is a small boy that you sold me of my inheritance. And he did that with my father's presence. You know why? Obizi, what are you saying? What are you talking about? I have to end this. I cannot bear this humiliation. No. The gods bear me witness. I cannot leave this no, town. No, 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 Obizi, listen. No, no, yes, no, no. I have to you myself? No! Ah! Elders of Obvious the Kingdom. Oh, no. Oh, no. By the powers conferred on me as Ono of Obvious the Kingdom, I hereby crown you the Obvious the Sixth of Obvious the Kingdom.
to commit evil deeds against you. Some will feel you shouldn't be where you are, but you shouldn't be there in the first place. Mm, but no matter what they do, oh, and no matter what they say, yeah, they cannot take away that which belongs to you. It's your destiny. Oh, it's your destiny. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. There is nothing that can be done about it. No, no, no matter no. what is done, it's your destiny. It's your destiny. Your destiny. Destiny, it's your destiny. Oh, oh, oh. oh.